Hello to my Leos. All right, Leos, let's get into it. Let's see what's in your cards. Happy full moon. Happy full moon. You know that you can do your full moon rituals. Don't forget to do your full moon rituals. Even if you don't see the video on the 23rd, you can do them up to the 26th of May. But happy full moon. You all have the questions for the moon in Sagittarius. And I will give you the moon, the questions for the moon and Capricorn during this video. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Let's go. Let's do it. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in personal reading, my information is down below in the description. Let's go. All right. First card out of the deck is the Five of Cups. Here we have the Hierophant card, the Lover's card, the Hermit card, the Wheel of Fortune, and also the Death card. Five of Cups here. So, all right. So somebody's just kind of looking back at, you know, maybe possibly taking one last look back at the past and just kind of so the relationships that you were connected with in the past. Here we have the Hierophant card. Here we have the Lover's card. Here we also have the Hermit card, you know, just kind of like analyzing, you know, the relationships that you were, you know, connected with in the past, like really going through with a fine tooth comb, you know, looking at those things and just looking at it through a lens of just feeling fortunate to have had certain energies past your path, past your, um, come across your path. It's like you're, you're closing out cycles, like the, the cycle is closing, right? So you say, okay, the life cycle has ended. I'm grateful for the past, but I'm ready to put a manhole cover over it and I'm ready to move forward, right? This is a death rebirth card, right? So we know that uh, Pluto is currently retrograded until October and that is the death rebirth power transformation metamorphosis is also the obsession. So you want to make sure that, you know, that number five being the midpoint is just kind of some things may take you down that road. You know, like if you're cleaning up and you run across some old pictures or you come across some old pictures, you may have planned on, you know, doing a little cleanup and, and throwing some things away and coming across certain old pictures may keep you there for the next couple of hours. However long you need to take to process your emotions about what you're leaving behind, whoever or whatever you're leaving behind, whether it's a job, friendship, or whatever. Because water connects us with not just our emotions and mood. It also connects us with quality of relationships, friendships. It connects us with our intuition about things. And so when you decide you're going to move on from some things, that phase of your life, you know, some things may keep you there a little bit longer. So however long you need to, you know, get prepared for a rebirth. Because I'm seeing some wishes being fulfilled for you, you know, moving forward. So good for you. I'm seeing a uh, partnership in business and or in love. So what you require is teamwork, right? So when you're talking about quality of relationships and friendships, that's something you want to be crystal clear about. So this earth right here, when you're talking about the earth, water is shaped and uh, shaped and guided by the earth that holds and surrounds it, right? So who you're around makes all the difference in the world. So if you're around energies where you feel like um, are toxic, um, you have to define your definition of toxicity, right? Are they asking you to hold space? because life is happening, right? So there could be some people that's in your circle right now that could be grieving something. Like I said before, they could be grief. Life is happening around them, right? So they could be coming to a table of, you know, coming together of just like planning of like whatever it is you all are doing and something could be happening in their lives, you know, and they could need you to hold space. Is that toxic? You have to decide, or are you holding space and just and then helping them with some tools that's going to help them to move forward beyond all of that? So, yeah, so yeah, so like I said, you require teamwork, but you're going to define what that means for you. Here we also have the Seven of Cups, so this is the number for completion, and so you're definitely saying, okay, I'm I'm having lightning bolt insight into what the quality of relationships and friendships I want to align myself with at this point. Here's the devil card. And so the devil card connects us with um, anybody that's enslaved to obsessions, lust, or restrictions. So you want to know what yours are. You know, do you want to be connected to energies that um, are lustful or enslaved to some kind of obsessions or restrictions? You know, those kind of things. So you got to first recognize 
what yours are to even recognize it as somebody else and like that that energy you know to even recognize it as somebody else so that's what i see you doing here are the questions for those of you all who like questions um so you can start tracking and observing your emotions um as you uh, move through you know your your life cycles and you're continuing to go through the seedling to your sprouting process during this full moon and this full flower moon so you're you know, going through your metamorphosis. First question is, what are your top three of priorities this week, this month, and this year? The second question is, what are your biggest fears? The third question is, do you have specific daily rituals and routines that nourish you? The fourth question is, do you reward yourself when you accomplish something? And then last but not least is, how much of your day or week do you block out for self-care and personal development? That is very important, right? And so coexist. Yeah, so Source is definitely putting you around some energies, um, some new energies, right? And you're leaving some other energies outside of your vault door. And so they have their vault door, you have your vault door. So Source is leaving you outside of, uh, leaving other energies outside of your vault door. But guess what? Coexisting, it takes all kinds to make the world go round. So it's not a competition. It really is. And everybody has their own spiritual gifts. And so Source is putting you around... Um, you're making your divine connections, right? Or whatever frequency you're on where the pros outweigh the cons. And that's where source is putting you around. Here we have the judgment card. And so uh, where you'll be free, where you'll feel like you're free of harsh judgment, right? And just realize, okay, only source can judge you. Only most high God can judge you, right? So yeah, you've done a total transformation here and it won't feel like it's forced, you know, it won't feel like it's forced, right? And so you're also having a tower moment. And so in this vulnerability, uh, somebody will just feel like, okay, a lot of information is being downloaded and it's coming to you. And there will be people that you connect with that will judge other people and they will harshly judge people for having any kind of hum human frailties. They'll call people negative. They'll call them demonic. They'll say they like this one over this one. They'll accuse you of something that you're not, all kinds of stuff. So Source is saying to you, also take that into consideration, you know, when you're creating, you know, those spaces as well. You're just definitely gaining some more wisdom. So, but yeah, Source is making your divine connections right now. And even though there may your, be your divine connection, some people may not see it as a divine connection. They may see it as opposite of that if it's not what they believe in or what's not what they believe. And that's okay. That's okay. Source made the divine connection between you and them um, and not you and them, right? So they, it's not even by coincidence that you came across anybody's path. You know, it's just showing them too, hey, like you have to look at things through another lens. Maybe they're not at that frequency yet and that's okay too. So let's see, here we have somebody's ex was on some kind of an assignment. Hmm, okay. So you want to let go and, you know, let go and let God, you know, um, do a sacral chakra cleanse. So somebody poured out a lot. I feel like somebody may have been used to being around energy vampires, you know, just being around a lot of just kind of, um, you know, being around those types of energies. Your peace is paramount. Your ancestors are very proud of you. Um, it's always been you versus you, right? Like I said, it's not a competition. There is no one on this planet that is like you. And that really is your super, your superpower. It does sound when you hear it, it almost sounds cliche. And to somebody, it may even sound corny, but it really is true. There is nobody like you on planet earth. Nobody, right? Just like there's nobody like them, whoever they are on planet earth. So it's time to do a root chakra cleanse as well. So sacral and root chakra, which you see here. Yeah, sacral and root chakra plans. Yeah. And so you're making positive impacts on people. So it's time for you to start moving on in peace and in silence. And so you are who some people have prayed for. And don't forget that rest is a form of self-care as well. Don't forget that rest is a form of self-care as well. Let's pull a number card. And you have the questions for the moon. And um, you have the questions for the moon. And... Um, the moon phase is coming up, right? So 555, five, five, a major shift is about to come into your life experience and change your path's direction. So be open and stay positive. So like just remain optimistic, right? 
All right, that is what I have for you. I heard you all loud and clear. You know, in previous readings, somebody um, put a comment below, and I take all your comments, you know, with a grain of salt. I appreciate all the love that you all send. I, re I appreciate all the personal messages you all send, you know, um, you know, to me. And so, like I said, this is your reading. And so, you know, thank you for your time, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.